Hello everybody, I'm Bigatech, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Civilization 5. As those introductions are getting louder and louder and bigger and bigger, my voice is getting worse and worse. Maybe I should cut them, I don't know, let me know if you want, if you'd be upset if I cut those intros, because man do they kill the voice. Um, but I was having a thought between those two, uh, the last episode and this one. I am out of iron, right? Novgorod, I'd like to build, you know, some long swordsmen and some trebuchets and, and stuff like that. But I can't because I don't have iron. So, these guys are guarded against me. But, if I trade, do they have... Oh, they don't have iron. Which is a shame. Uh... Brussels, I would like to... I can't trade with them. Helsinki... No, so you can't trade with city-states, and these guys won't give me anything. Because I was hoping I would be able to trade with uh, with someone to get some iron. Because that is one thing that I am absolutely lacking at this point. If I had it, I'd be doing so much better. But my only iron mine is here which is outside of the range of any city at this point, and up here, which is not connected to my city. Um, oh, and actually, no, that's a silver mine. Stone, there's my iron, right. So I've got some iron, but it's not connected to my city, so I don't know what I can do. I, I, well, I mean, I can't do anything, which is a shame. Now, I can, I do have plenty of gold here, so it would be nice uh, to purchase a few troops but again like if i if i go to novgorod right and i go here and i go uh choose production but i go if i go purchase like the things i can purchase aren't very helpful at all so what's the point i get to work at a workboat or a trammy like that's that's not helpful or i could produce another pikeman which is what I'm going to have to do. I am going to get this to come out because I am like kind of worried about getting bombarded. So I'll pull you out down this way. You are going to have to take a hit next turn, which is a bit of a shame. You can come down here. You can come to here. You can go to... You can just stay there for now. If you fortify until healed, that's fine. Let's choose a research of uh, machinery. It would allow you to build the crossbowman, which is fantastic. Gunpowder would get you to build a musket man, which would be kind of nice. Uh, let's let's go ahead and get the musketman. Uh, I think that's going to be handy. Uh, and let's promote a unit over here uh, to have the open terrain bonus. And move on to the next turn. Um, so, oh, okay, he wants peace. Can I get something from you for peace? Is that gonna, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work, is it? Um, fine, let's, let's have a peace treaty. We have managed to survive the war with Greece, uh, which means you guys can all just, right, so made peace, that's fine. This unit has been promoted, that's fine. Let's... You can go up there, you can go to here, you can just fortify until healed, you can fortify until healed, you guys can come up here. I'm basically just going to protect my borders at this point with all of these, uh, all of these troops here. So that's sort of going to be the plan. Beaker City needs to build me a, well, it needs... I need to expand to here. I'm hoping that the citizen would do it, but let's build a stable. It's only going to take five turns, which is pretty good. Uh, we're one turn away from a worker there, which is nice. So anyway, let's let's go ahead and do that. Enemy denunciation of you has expired, which is very, very nice. Budapest better not bloody attack me. Uh, <laughs> these archers uh, have turned up, which is good. You can go there. And then basically fortify. Uh, you are done, which is fine. But you're just going to go into alert mode. You guys are going to go into alert mode for now. 
you workers are going to go on automatic mode. Uh, and then I'm going to choose production for Rostov. We have iron! Ha ha! Fantastic! Right! Let's build me some... Oh, do I want trebuchets or do I want long swordsmen? Strength 16, strength 11. Well, hmm. Let's, let's go ahead and get some trebuchets, I reckon. I think we've got time. Uh, Yaroslavl can build me a regular, regular swordsman, maybe? Or a, uh, library monument? Like, swordsmen's own 17 versus, like, 27 turns. But let's, let's go ahead. I don't plan on attacking anything for 27 turns, so that should, in theory, be fine. You've got five turns until a pikeman, three turns until a workboat, which will be nice. Uh, you guys are building a... You're repairing that, which is nice, because Moscow is currently stagnant. Like, you're, you're not losing food, but you're also not making any. So getting that, uh, that uh, some farm and stuff back here will be handy. And in fact, after this, I'll probably get you to produce a workboat so that you can... Uh, build in here and get some food going on. I think that's going to be ideal. You are going to go into alert mode. That's fine. And basically, we're just gonna just gonna chill and wait. Is Moscow now? You're still not getting more food, but you will shortly. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just tick through the next couple turns. We're not at war. We don't have to worry about anything. We can just sort of peacefully. Uh, Silk has ended and Open Borders has ended. That's fine. Uh, you guys can just go ahead and go into alert mode. I'm not worried about that. Uh, you workers are out of moves. That's fine. I mean, technically we're not at war, but they do seem to be loading up these borders pretty damn quick. So I'm a little worried. Um, right. You guys can get that. And then you can go there. Uh... You're uh, a workboat. You can go there. Uh, and then you can create fishing boats. Uh, you can just go into alert mode. Choose a production for Beaker City. You are going to produce me a long swordsman. Uh, Moscow is going to produce me a long swordsman. Uh, Yakutsk is going to produce me some... Uh, just some, what, what, what do I need? Probably, maybe another workboat, get some more stuff up here. Does that, that seems like a good idea. You can do that. Uh, we can now adopt a policy. Fantastic. Uh, gold cost of upgrading military units reduced by 33%, plus one happiness from every defending building. And we would, uh, once we get everything, uh, grant gold for each enemy unit killed. Right, let's go ahead and do that. So we now have the entire honor uh, group, which is nice. And then we can start looking at some others in time. Um, what do I... Yeah, I think it's... I think, again... It, oh, it's... Bloody hell, I was meant to make Moscow make me a, um, a, a worker boat, and I just produced a long swordsman. I was not thinking. That's... That's okay. Like, it's not, not an, a big issue, but that was... Completely stupid of me. I didn't even think about that. Um, how can I attract a great scientist? I genuinely don't know. Uh, right. You're a pikeman. You can go there and then wait. Uh, you've also been promoted, so you can get shop one. That's fine. Novgorod. Right. Choose a production. You. Oh, you could produce long swordsman as well. Again, you could produce a workboat, which is I'd want over here, but... Actually, I think, you know what? Produce me a trebuchet. I don't have one of them yet. Uh, you can go into alert mode. Uh, Brussels wants the great scientist. I don't know how I'm gonna get that at all. Uh, we did get another citizen there and we're about to get a pikeman, which is nice. Yeah, I don't know, how would you get, um, how would you get a great scientist? Genuinely don't know. You guys are fine there. You can go into alert mode. Your uh, marble's now available in Yakutsk. Yakutsk. This increases production when building wonders in the city by 15%, which is nice. Move on to the next turn. 
Yeah, you can see they are, they are starting to load up their borders, but not as much as me. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm absolutely stacked here. This is ridiculous. Uh, you can go and chill there. That's fine. We can choose a production in Yekaterinburg. Uh, and you can produce me a... Hmm. Let's, let's go ahead and build a forge. Maybe? Or do I want like a... Let's get a library going. Let's get a library. That should be fine. Uh, we'll go ahead to the next turn. See what happens. Um, Chichen Itza has been built in a faraway land. Fair enough. Yakuts has grown. Lovely. That's good. Uh, unit needs orders. That'll be you guys. Again, you're just going to chill in alert mode. You're in alert mode. That's fine. You guys are all waiting. Nine turns. Two turns. Seven turns till the trebuchet. Seven turns till the trebuchet. So in seven turns, we'll have two trebuchets, which is really freaking good, actually. Um, because I'm worried that we are going to be attacked pretty soon. I'm, I'm feeling confident in my... Uh, in my army at this point but still a little worried like i don't i don't want to be attacked i only just got it but that's okay long swordsman you can go up a level that's lovely uh and you you're some what are you you are pikeman long swordsman you can go and chill over here i think and beaker city you can produce me the workboat because that's only going to take you two turns and you'll jump over to moscow and make that and then moscow will have some food and everyone will be happy and things will be great which is good right things are looking up we also have 700 food uh food 700 food 700 gold i don't know where i got food from uh so that is very very nice uh 700 gold that is really good I did notice, however, that our peace treaty has just ended. So these guys can attack at some point. But I am feeling pretty strong, especially with my long swordsmen, uh, of which I'm about to get a couple more uh, over here. And we're also very close to getting a... Uh, what's uh, what's going to call it? Some, some trebuchets and the like. So let's choose a production for Beaker City. I'm going to get another long swordsman because I, I feel like I need it. You guys are going to go into alert mode. You can see my entire border is basically protected. There's like three holes in there that aren't covered by troops. So that is really good. Uh, they have denounced us, uh, which I'll say you'll pay for, which isn't good. Like, I, I don't, I'm not particularly fond of being denounced, Greece. But that's fine uh we can we can deal with that uh you you actually can you you can't do anything here which is a shame is there oh is there no fishing spots here does it like have to be a specific fishing spot so in that case i'll tell you to be autumn hmm that's kind of a pain that's very much a pain uh but that's okay Four turns away from some long swordsmen, two away from some trebuchets. Once we get trebuchets, we should be absolutely demolishing the cities, uh, which would be nice. So we can now produce. What did Jikuts just produce? A workboat. Right. You're going to go on uh, automatic. Choose a production up here of a. Uh, Krepost isn't really needed up here. I'm not producing military units up here. Uh, I want something that will give me science. I want I want some science going on. Um, library. Let's go ahead and build the library. Right. Next turn. I really hope I don't get attacked. Like that. That would that would suck. Uh, so I'm not going to be the first to attack Greece this time. At least not until I've got a few more long swordsmen. And a few more trebuchets, which I now have. Uh, so siege units are excellent at knocking out cities from range, but are defenseless if attacked by other units. So always defend them. So thank you for that. Uh, let's choose a production for Novgorod. Uh, and you 
you guys want either a workshop or a stable. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and build another long swordsman. Uh, and then choose a production for Rostov. Uh, and again, you know what? Do I want a trebuchet from down here? It's potential, or do I build a long swordsman? Um, or do I build a library? Let's let's go ahead and build a library because that's going to give me more science, which apparently is a good thing. Everyone wants me to do that. Uh, you are going to get uh, against units in open terrain. Yeah, I think we're fighting mostly in in open terrain, so we'll go ahead with those. Uh, Trebuchet can just jump up to here. Uh, oops, go back to the map. Uh, this trebuchet can sort of go to here. And then we should be nicely protected. Uh, can you... Oh, <laughs> I hit set up. I didn't mean to hit set up, but that's fine. <sighs> oh, okay, next turn. I, I want to see if they can actually hit that city. I'm sure we're about to find out. <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, I like shiny things the second most, which is true. It is very true. I do like shiny things. Uh, we have researched gunpowder. Well, that's always nice, which means we're in the Renaissance era, uh, which is fantastic. So, how to claim victory? There is more than one way to become the greatest civilization and win the game. In fact, here are four routes. Through military, technology, diplomacy, or culture. Uh, thank you. Wonderful. What happens at 2050? I'm assuming it ends. Uh, thank you. Choose a research. Um, hmm. Build a lancer. Leads to rifling as well. Uh, chemistry allows you to build a cannon, which would be amazing. Currency, uh, gives us various gold boosting buildings, theology, Specialized buildings and wonders, uh, which our hmm, that takes four. That takes four. Let's let's bang off these low level stuff first, uh, and and sort of go from there. So you've got range attack. Oh, you're not quite in range. So that's fine. So you can you okay, and you can move. So you'll have to move closer, and that's fine. You can jump down here which only take one move because you move so quickly you can just go into alert mode uh we've got one turn until the long swordsman over here six there ten until the library ten until the yaroslavl builds the long swordsman and one till a library there Let's go ahead and end the episode there. I think there's plenty to do in the next one, which is very, very nice. So we will uh, we'll be doing that. Things are looking up for Mother Russia. So very, very excited about how this is going to go. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.